coming up, part two, my conversation with Bob Daisley and Carmine Apiece. More stories on the road with Ozzy and Motley Crue. I remember one, yes. after one show, I we used to swap around going on each other's buses. And, and one night, um, Mick Mars went on our bus and I went on the Motley Crue bus. And they were having a band meeting <clears throat> and they actually asked me, invited me in for my opinion. And they were talking about getting rid of Mick. And I said, don't make the same mistake that they did with Kerslake. You know, the, the chemistry's working, the band is working. Yeah. There's no, don't try to fix something that's not broken. And I talked them out of it. So I, I saved Mick. Good Mick. move. At night. Yeah, yeah. I said, look, you know, he's part of the band. He's part of the chemistry. He's okay. He's he's, he's not Jeff Beck, but you know, he's still part of the band and part of the chemistry and part of what's working. But you know, so yeah, it's not, but, it's something that's not broken. The problem is, he Mick was always like years older than them. He was into the the, the bands from my era, like Jeff Beck and yeah. PBA and Cactus and all that. Yeah, and they they were not from that same era. You know, yeah. so he always felt on the outside, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Mix a nice guy. He's a really good oh, guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I thought yeah, he was and, and I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you did yeah. that because if it wasn't for him, they wouldn't have had those cool riffs and that big-ass guitar sound. I just heard Mick's uh, first single today. He had the big, fat guitar sound. He needed yeah. my drums with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he had a big, beautiful well, I did guitar ask, sound. I did I put that story in my book, for fact's sake, and I and I did ask. Um, I think I think Mick. That was Nikki Six. That was Nikki Six that I asked. I said, "Is it okay?" He said, "Yeah, sure. It doesn't matter." He said, "Mick knows anyway." Right. So because I didn't want to drop anybody in it, so I put that story in my book. You're a better and man did, than me. I did ask if it was okay because yeah, uh, I, good. I saw them. I went to their show and. Uh, I asked Nikki about it, and he said, "Yeah, I'm good." You you are a good man, Bob. See me. You're I'm a good too, man. I'm too straightforward. It gets I get myself in trouble. If I don't like you, you know it. So that's. <laughs> I'm, I mean, that, that's what happened to me. I didn't know. Mick didn't say, "Don't say anything." Yeah. You know. Right. So I was doing it. I was doing an interview about Jeff Beck dying. You know. Right. And then and then somebody said, "What do you think about? Why do you think Mick Mars left Motley Crue?" And I said, I don't know, but, but, but you know, Mick kept saying, I, you know, I'd like to play. I don't want to play with that stuff anymore. And now right. I read something today about how uh, I think it was a comment on Vince Neil's playing down here, and you know, and, it, and it, they showed Mick Vince Neil playing at the Hard Rock down here. The comments were atrocious. Oh yeah, why? Oh, they were, because he sucks now, according to uh, everybody. He's he's gotten really uh, fat. I mean, you know the. People are saying, yeah, maybe in between songs he'll go to Burger King and get another fat burger. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. and I'm reading this stuff. I'm going, wow. I mean, he really, you know, the last tour, my daughter went to see them with Def Leppard. And people are saying, you know, thank God for Def Leppard, you know. And mm -hmm. and Mick wasn't happy. You know? he, he wasn't happy. But right. I hope it don't start again with this interview. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> well, if it does start in this interview, this is a good time to promote. Since they're watching and they want to enter, we got to promote what we got going on here. First of all, yeah. make sure you order for fact's sake, Bob Daisley's autobiography, and don't forget to order the 25th anniversary of Guitar Zoo. The Beck Boba the Peace 50th anniversary box set. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's the that's the big one. That's the big one, and right? This, this that band. On these, on this box set, the band is on fire. Oh, I saw, Tim. I saw you in London. In, yeah, yeah. yeah. In Wait, was that the Rainbow? No, it was uh, the Sundowner. Oh, the Sundown. Uh, that's that out. Oh no, is that where we bought Jeff's car out on the stage? Yes. 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 Ah. Wow. wow. That was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. That's so I cool. think that was that was the first time I actually met you. Oh, that, okay. That, that show, yeah. Yeah, that was a great show. I remember when we were talking about, hey, Jeff, let's bring one of your cars out on mm -hmm. the Encore. Yeah, he said, did. oh, great idea. And we, we did some low, low fog. And all of a sudden, you hit a boom, boom, you know, a hot yeah. rod. 
Model T very, convertible. Very we drove it, yeah, we drove it right out on the stage. We got out, played the solos. Yes, it plays yeah. the encore and drove it off. Yeah, wow. Awesome. I remember he broke a string that night, I remember. Oh, did he? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't remember. The band was good though. It was great. It was a great show. I mean, you're yeah, all yeah. really worked the band, well. The band was on fire. The yeah. band was on fire. We never really had a chance to develop the band because we never did that second album. No. But now we got the second album live at the London Rainbow with seven new songs on this BBA Live uh, box set that's come out. And was that when it was still called the Astoria or was it the Rainbow? No, it was the Rainbow. It was the Rainbow. Okay. We did two shows right. because we got a, a boogie on there. We call it the Rainbow Boogie. You know? Oh, okay. And, you know, okay. at, at Dying Tent, we'd spell out the word boogie, right? We'd go, give me a B. Oh, you know, what's that oh, spell? Right. Boogie. And then I said, yeah. give me a B. Give me a B. Give me an O. Oh, give me an L. Give me an L. Give me O. Oh, you know, C, K. What's that spell? Bollocks. <laughs> you know, <like. laughs> If you'd like to see this episode right now unedited, join us in our members only right here on YouTube. In the meantime, subscribe, put your comments down below, and click on the box that pops up right here on your screen. We'll catch you all later.